Hey everybody, this is Linksy, and this is an updated tutorial on how to generate and install mods made with Linksy's Mod Maker. So previously, Mod Maker was mod loader based, which means it used uh, Rizogami's mod loader, but now it's Forge. So I thought it would be good to make another tutorial explaining how to um, install it. Sandwich Hill One made the previous one. Uh, I'm going to be doing this one, and it's actually quite simple with the new layout. You just need to get used to it. So first step is we have this uh, mod I made. This is part of the um, modeler tutorial. I'm going to go check that out. Uh, and the first step in installing and generating and installing is just to click the generate button. Now when you, when you click generate you're going to be looking for a folder and inside the folder it's going to put another folder and inside that is going to be all your mod uh, contents. So I have a folder right here on the desktop, which I'm going to save my mod to. You're just going to select the folder. You should probably make a folder for each mod you uh, create. I'm just going to click save, and then it'll take a couple seconds. And when it's done, it's going to leave you with a folder full of good stuff. So if I minimize this real quick, it's going to say, finish generating, remember to install FML. You're also going to get a generation output window. Now, if it says, uh, if it says there was an error, or if it says there um, no mod file detected, you're going to want to copy and paste all of this into a message to me, Linksy, on the Minecraft forums. I will read it, probably. <laughs> I try to read all of them. Um, and hopefully we can get some bugs fixed. But idyllically, that shouldn't happen. So now we're going to look at the contents of this. So in the folder you saved to, there's going to be a Minecraft.jar file. And inside that file or a folder is going to be all of your stuff. If you go into the assets folder, you're going to have find all your images in various subfolders. So here's our slug image. That's pretty much the only one I think in this mod. And it's also going to have all your class files, and those are just what's going to make um, the mod work inside the Minecraft jar file. So now that we have this all set up, we're going to want to find our um, Minecraft directory. If you don't know how to do that, there are plenty of uh, video tutorials online. But what I'm going to do real quick is just going to show you basically how you do it. So you're going to want to type uh, percent symbols, and then in between type app data, and that'll take you here. You're going to go into dot Minecraft folder, and here's going to be all of your game files. Now as of 1.6.2 your your game jars what what you're gonna actually be modding are in the versions folder so that's all as far as we want to go now now at this point we're gonna want to download FML so forge mod loader is a program type thing it's an API that you install and it'll uh, make all mods compatible with each other so you want to go to files.minecraftforge.net and you're going to download the recommended under here and you're going to download the installer so if you click here it's going to take you to an ad fly page that was an ad I believe one second yeah it's going to take you here and then when this is done it's going to download this guy. So this is going to be an installer. It's going to be a jar file. And all you want to do when you download this is you want to run this. When you run this, this is the FML installer. You're going to click on install client. And this, this should be default. And you're just going to click OK. And it should come up with this message. You're going to click OK. And now if you go back into that Minecraft versions file there's going to be a new folder called 1.6.2 uh, forge it should have the forge in it and we're going to open it and here is our game jar and this now it's pretty similar to how you installed the mod before so we're going to right click on this and if you have 7-zip installed you're going to need some kind of uh, archiver so either 7-zip or winrar they're all free so you're going to have to go download those uh, if you download and install 7-zip, you should be, have this option right here. You're going to go over 7-zip, you're going to open archive, and here is the game jar for this version. 
Now, a little clarification on this. Uh, oops. I just do. Versions, okay. Um, as of Minecraft 1.6.2, you can have different profiles of your game jar. So this uh, enables you to have uh, maybe a vanilla and then a modded version and multiple modded versions at the same time. So this is just going to be a forge profile in the new launcher. Now we have this open and all we need to do at this point is go into our generated files. We have all these generated and this is our mod files and we're just going to click all these and throw them straight into the jar. You do not, there's no uh, mod folder that if you install these into a mod folder it will not work uh, or it, at least for now it won't work with mod maker mods you're just gonna need to throw them right into the jar file and if you have any questions you can message me on the forums at linksy uh, about this this should clear up anything so now we're gonna run the game get this right here it's opening up this is the new minecraft launcher and get this up it's loading and we're gonna log in with an existing user and so now we should have a profile called forge there you go and then as we go into this it'll open up the actual minecraft game and hopefully everything should go well it'll open up you have minecraft you have uh, forge installed if you go into your mods you have your mod installed. I will get to adding mod information in a future mod maker update, but for now it's just going to be this blank information status. So this should uh, help clear up some things uh, as to installing your mod. Um, thank you for watching. I'm Linksy, and uh, I hope all went well. <laughs> See ya.